Yo, 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 what is up, you tube? It's your boy, Mr. Heat, back at it again with another fire video. I appreciate y'all for clicking in on this video. If you could hit that like and subscribe button for me, please. If you would like to join the Heat Wave, that is how you do so. Now, we're back with the top five series, and today we got the left tackle. Now, we're going to get right into it. As you guys know, if you guys have followed my channel, or if not, um, I take pride in my offensive line. So this is actually a video I would definitely watch um, without a doubt. So for number five, for left tackles, I think, you know, he is a veteran player. He definitely knows what he's doing. I would love to see him on the Browns last year. Sadly, that did not happen. But I will say Trent Williams comes in at number five five for the left tackles um which is crazy because look at his stats dude very good all around and by the way when i look at all these linemen i'm looking at all around bal ba best balanced linemen i think the 49ers got a steal with this one to be honest and uh well very very good all around stats especially for an 84 overall all around it is I mean, you can't, I can, you can't complain about that, dude. Like, he has everything you would need in an offensive line, so that's a pretty good thing for the left tackles to have starting out at number five. I'd say, um, like I said, 86 strength, 80 awareness, 82 pass block, 83 pass block power, 81 pass block finesse, 82 pass block and run block, 82 run block. My bad, 80. Run block power and 82 run block finesse. So like I said, he even has 67 speed. So very very good card I'd say for the, you know, beginning. Lead block is an 80. It's pretty darn good. Going in at number four, um, you know a lot of these, like I said, I base these off personal opinion. Um, that can be either that personal opinion can be I play with them. Um, I played versus them stat wise who I would want on my team and basically yeah that's that's really all it is when I, when I look at you know look at it but for me when we're talking about number four left tackles I have to go with Teron Armstead um, without a doubt 80 strength which is his lowest besides run block power but even it with that, his run block finesse carries the weight of this card um, on the run block position, I should say, because awareness and run blocking, I mean path blocking, is gucci up, you feel me? And the crazy thing about this card that some people are not going to notice is the 72 speed, which is very, very nice for an offensive lineman. How good will he actually do this year? I don't know with 82 lead block like I said I'll go through his stats 80 strength 85 awareness 85 pass block 85 pass block power 87 pass block finesse 82 run block 79 run block power 83 run block finesse like I said very very good card one I cannot you know I can't hate on I just can't Know what I mean? Anyways, going from here to the number three spot, um, I 100% believe that this is the number, th bro. It was very hard, I'll be honest. But I, at the end of the day, I do believe he is a number three compared to who I have next. So Jimbo Covert is your number three. And if you look at the stats, point blank, very very good stats you cannot argue that you can't very good lead block too let's go ahead and go look at his stats if you look at it 87 strength which is very very high his weight is only 277 okay now i don't really look at weight much but this is actually pretty significant he's at undersized but he has the strength which is very very good um 84 awareness 84 pass block 84 pass block power, 85 pass block power, 
87. Run block, 82. Pass block, finesse. 87 run block power and 84 run block finesse. So like I said, very, very good card. Impact blocking, 85. Lead blocking, 83. You cannot, I don't see how you could complain about this card at all. Very, very, like I said, clean. Um, definitely usable. Probably will be one of the better t left at tackles at the end of the game if he gets an upgrade. Um, I, I hope he does. You know what I mean? And this one at number two is probably going to come to a surprise to most people. I mean, at the same time, you know, looking back and forth and just kind of doing my research, I have number two as Ronnie Stanley. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say exactly why and why I would definitely go with Ronnie Stanley on my number two. Him and Jimbo are very, very close. Um, yes, Ronnie has a little bit less stats compared to Jimbo, but I will say this card right here plays five times better than his card actually says. Now, here's the thing though. Will that configure to his next card? Probably not. So for now, in my opinion, Ronnie Stanley is number two. I don't even see Ronnie Stanley being on this list after they but tone him down, tune him down, um, to be honest. But he is right now. So with that being said, he has 82 strength, 86 awareness, 84 pass block, 83 pass block power, 86 pass block finesse. 84 run block, 80 run block power, 85 run block finesse. So like I said, very, very, very good balance all around. Like besides him being a little bit more overpowered than he usually is, or he usually would, I'd say it's pretty, a pretty big deal. To let you guys know that he is overpowered, I doubt I will see him being in this top five later this year. So, number one, I mean, this should be obvious. I mean, you guys know I'm a Browns fan. You guys know. Come on, bro. Come on, dog. Joe Thomas, man. Joe Thomas easily, easily. I mean, dude, look at those stats. Do I even have to explain? All right, I will. I will. 86 lead block, 85 impact blocking. And then, bro, just look at the card, dude. Card is so, so good. So very good. So we got 85 strength, 89 awareness, 89 pass block, 86 pass block power, 89 pass block finesse. Or footwork, maybe finesse or footwork. I think it's finesse. Or footwork, I don't know. 85 run block, 84 run block power, 87 run block finesse. As you can see, he's more of a pass blocker, pass protector, they could say. But he can do it all. And with the boost he has, let's, let's go ahead and compare him to mine. Um, as you can see, mine has like one better everything. Like he should, you know what I mean? But like I said, per pretty easy, very very good card. Definitely not to be slept on, to be honest. Probably would be the best left tackle at the end of the year. Um, just wild guessing right there, but I could definitely see that being a thing. Hmm. I'm just trying to think what other left tackles would go over. Joe Thomas but I don't see anybody haha <laughs> anyways it's your boy Mr. Heat I hope you all enjoyed this video all I gotta say is I'm out and uh, yeah peace